everyone. Today what we are going to be doing is practicing a little bit with homeostasis and things that need to happen. So to do that, you're going to complete this homeostasis card sort activity. You'll open your assignment and that will take you to a linked Google Slides file. Um, this is just the kind of title slide. So it tells you homeostasis card sort activity, your procedure, what you're going to do is for each scenario, uh, there are six all together. For each scenario, attempt to place the yellow cards in their respective positions in the model. Blue scenarios, which are one and two, say scenarios one and two, and I'll show you what I mean by blue in a minute, are real world examples. While the pink scenarios, and again, I'll show you what that means in a minute, um, scenarios three to six are physiology related. So they're related to what happens in your body. Um, if you look over here on this side of the slide, it tells you you will need to do either scenario one or two. So you're going to do one scenario from the real world examples. You can choose which one and two out of scenarios three to six. So you're doing three out of the six total scenarios. So you only need to do half of what's here essentially. When you are done before you submit, you need to delete all of the extra slides. That includes this first slide here. So you will only turn in the three slides that you have done. One blue scenario, that's a real world scenario, and two pink scenarios, which are physiology related. So as you go through, here we have scenario one, and scenario two, those are the what I'm calling the blue scenarios because the scenarios are written out in blue little post-its on here. Um, you are going to choose either scenario one or scenario two. Scenario one says the regulation of oven temperature at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So the oven is set at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And you need to place these little yellow post-its on these boxes where it, you think it describes what's happening. So if there is an increase detected in the oven temperature, what would happen? And you put that card here and so on. What the response from the control center would be, you would drag that over here. Um, so you can move these around, okay, um, to where you need them to go. So over each rectangular box here, you should be placing one of these yellow post-it notes. Scenario two is our other real world example, and that is the regulation of swimming pool chemicals. So again, you're only going to do scenario one with the oven or scenario two with the pool chemicals. Then you can go on to the physiology related scenarios. So scenario three is blood pressure regulation. Scenario four is blood glucose or blood sugar regulation. Scenario five is body temperature regulation and scenario six is blood calcium levels. Now, some of these things you see over here, for example, calcitonin, that's a hormone, osteoclast, those are bone cells. You don't necessarily need to know what all of these things are to be able to answer them. Um, you just need to figure out what would happen in what order to restore homeostasis. Um, so these are all negative feedback mechanisms. Um, again, you're going to do two out of these pink scenarios. So when you are turning your assignment in, it should only have three slides. One out of these two, so either scenario one or scenario two. And then you're choosing two out of three, four, five, and six. You're deleting any slides that you did not do, including the title slide, so that you're only turning in the three slides to me that you actually did, okay? When you are done, you'll need to submit that over here, and that will be it for today. Uh, we're gonna be doing more practicing and things um, with, with homeostasis the rest of the week. If you have questions, please make sure you just let me know, and I hope you have a great day.